What's up YouTube, it's September 16th right now, four days away from the uh, Wii U bundle Zelda HD or Wind Waker HD release. Uh, so I'm going to do an unboxing of that, but I just kind of wanted to th throw up a video of all the new stuff that I got before all of the holiday games start coming out, like the Wii U bundle a little bit down the road, the Ganondorf figure with the uh, limited edition or collector's edition Zelda, the 3DS, all that stuff. So anyways... Um, kind of the retro station over here. Of course, I got all my ported NES titles on the Dreamcast. My SNES to play all my fan-made games. My Wii U that's got all the ported things um, for the, you know, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, SNES games, all that business. So it's kind of like where I play all my, my classic Zeldas. Uh, I'm really excited to take the, the, the Wind Waker HD out to my uh, high-definition TV. So I'm really excited to get that uh, in a couple days. Of course, we have uh, a little bit of a change up of uh, the collection, and it's all got rearranged. I just recently moved, so we got the shield over here. Um, nothing you guys haven't seen before, but this is the shelf with uh, all the collector's editions: Prima, Nintendo Power, uh, sorry, just Nintendo Player's Guides. We got the manga, the um, Zelda fan made games there, which is Outlands, and then Parallel Worlds. Uh, I almost got Ancient Stone tablets, which I'm really trying to find, but it's just it's not at an affordable price for me right now. I wish someone would just uh, would help me out. So if you want to sell me that game for an affordable price, let me know. Of course, I got the Zelda Fighters here. I've been able to pick up a lot of the um, display boxes for the uh, the uh, the Gachapon toys or Gacha Gacha as they're called here in America toys. Um, but yeah, I got that one. And of course, you've seen the Phantom Hourglass one that I have over there. Someone was asking last time. I don't know why I didn't bring these up, but I have the Hyrule Historia English version here. The Hyrule Story Japanese version, and then up here, I don't know if the, sorry the lighting's so bad. This is the Legend of Zelda Hyrule Historia. You see, it's got a bit of a shine there to it, and I haven't opened it yet. I don't think that I will. This is the limited to 4,000 um, version, the collector's version. It's got the gilded pages, just like the uh, strategy guides. So the gold gilded pages with the brown leather-like uh, cover. Um, it's pretty nice. I'll probably keep it tucked away, being that I have the other two. So there's no real need for me to um, open it up. I was also able to pick out the complete set of the Ultra Detail figures here from Japan. This is the Skyward Sword, obviously. Pretty nice. Um, really, the detail on these is, is pretty good, and obviously my camera is not good enough to pick up the detail on these. And I apologize, but... You know, you can always check these, check pictures of these out, Google image, uh, you know, ultra detail figures. This one I actually got copies of because the first one that got sent to me was, the box was just so torn up that it wasn't even worth keeping boxed. So I have this one here out of the box. I'll get a nice little uh, plastic case that he can sit in so I don't have to worry about dust covering, covering him up. But yeah, this is from uh, the Hyrule Fantasy, you know, the first Zelda game there. And you got the Wind Waker. This is the 178. Um, shows the complete set here. Also, you got the uh, the classic Mario series there too as well. So that was really cool. I was glad to pick up those three. Plus, I got the one that I can keep out of the box. Um, dumb iPhone covers. I don't really care much about those, but they're Zelda, so I had to get it. I was also able to pick up this print, which I'm sure that I've showed you guys, but... I love it so much. It's Princess Zelda from Skyward Sword Zel uh, Zelda. This is an amazing print. Um, I'll try and find a link to this artist's webpage because she does a lot of other great stuff like Final Fantasy, uh, some anime stuff, Studio Ghibli type stuff, which um, obviously I'm a large fan of Studio Ghibli as well. Uh, speaking of the Wind Waker coming out in a few days, I was able to pick up these, which um, I've been looking for for a really long time. Usually I can't find them for any what, like, near an affordable price, but I was able to get a good deal on the set. You got all the different Link's there, uh, Tetra, and then of course Link's sister. So I was really glad to get that, because of course I'm crazy excited to, to play Wind Waker um, HD. Coming out in a few days, I can't believe it. This cool pinup style of the uh, Nintendo females, Samus, Peach, Zelda. And a cool sprite thing that I did while I was bored, it's a link when um, Zelda's getting picked up off the bed, which you can't even see, but 
Anyways, here's the uh, collector's edition Zelda GameCube, which I was able to pick up, and that's complete. It's got the game in there, the carrying case and everything. So when I get the Wii U bundle, that'll kind of complete the whole systems that I got, because I got the, the SNES, which is back here. You can't really even see it anymore. It's covered so much. All my handhelds, the DS, 3DS, the Advance, um, the GameCube, the Game Boys. Then I'll have the Wii U. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll add nicely. Uh, another Japanese game that I was able to pick up because, of course, I'm so excited about the Wind Waker is Tact of Wind, which is a, uh, it's Japanese name, you can see right there, Legend of Zelda, Tact of Wind. Man, I apologize for the, the definition of this camera really doesn't pick any detail up, which is sad because uh, these things are so nice. Let me see if I can get this in the light at all. Anyways, I have uh, the Japanese version of the HD one coming as well, so we'll do a comparison on the uh, Wii U versus the Wii U Japanese version. Um, I'm sure, th I, I actually I don't think that I have, but I was able to pick up these uh, Ocarina of Time figures, Link, uh, Ganondorf's back there. Then I was able to pick up the scaled down um, set eh, as well with uh, Princess Zelda. All really nice condition. I was able to pick this one up from a comic book shop, actually, which was pretty cool because I sold a couple of books to get it. A couple of books that I wasn't reading anymore, and that worked out real nice. Um, anyways, this is all pretty much the same. You know, I've got all my US and Japanese releases here. Um, I'm going to need to find a little bit more room coming up here soon because this holiday season I am going to be getting a lot of Zelda stuff. As, as you guys know, it's a, it's a good time for Zelda fans coming up here real soon. Of course, I got all the Gashapon toys. I've got the complete set of these coming, which I want to talk about the Wind Waker version of Link and Zelda. Uh, I'm sorry, Tetra. Uh, in particular, Tetra because it's, um, it's pretty funny how they they painted her. I'm sure some of you guys who have it know what I'm talking about, but I'll wait until I actually get that complete set to explain it fuller in fuller detail. Uh, of course I got the Wii U Classic Controller Gold. You've seen the uh, the nunchuck there, which um, was limited to Nintendo Club, and I think it cost somewhere around 900 points and was pretty limited. You pretty much had to get on there the day that it was announced, which I think was two or three times, but I was finally able to get that, which I'm super happy about. This I'm going to put a link to because it is amazing. This is a LP, um, the Hyrule Fantasy. It's a split with another video game, but this is the one that we all care about very much. I'm going to put a link because uh, the, the soundtrack was redone in a way that I've never heard, and I really enjoyed it. It's very of its time, very 80s, and I think it's definitely worth uh, checking out if you're a fan of Zelda music. So I'm going to put a link to that as well. Um, under that, of course, I have Moblin Spear, book on tape. you got to love it. You know, I haven't actually ever listened to it, but I really think that it, I should. I bet it's pretty funny. Narrated pretty funny as well. Uh, the Penny Arcade comic that came out. Um, of course, some <laughs> Zelda stickers that I didn't even know that I had. Uh, this is the complete set for the Twilight Princess. And then, of course, the tops. Zelda ones. Well, Nintendo in general. But I got all the Zelda ones mixed up in there. Well, no, I'm sorry. They're organized in there. The Crystal Cases of Ocarina of Time, this is Sheik and Led, uh, Link fighting off a horde of enemies. This is my favorite of the designs. Also Link and Epona riding through Hyrule Field there. And Link fighting Ganondorf, boss battle there. These are really nice, I'm really glad to have them. They're, I don't actually uh, own uh, the regular 3DS anymore because I upgraded to the XL, um, but I wouldn't take those out of the, the cases anyways, they, they're really nice pieces. Of course, I have the comic book collection, which I have another video about, but I want to show you guys. I was able to get, let me find it here. Yeah, here it is. So I know I put this up. This is weird because of the way that they're, they're issued and damn it, you know, this isn't going to come out right. But this one up there in the corner of the book, I know you can't see it. It says volume one. Number three. Wait. Okay. So I'm, I'm. I apologize. This is the one in question here. Sorry. I have a couple of a uh, couple of duplicates. 
and this is the one that I wanted to talk about because this one's issued out as number two and then I also have here the number four which is the same book but um, just done because these were going to be a much larger series so it's cool that I was able to get kind of like a, a weird you know copy that says two different volumes on it anyways enough about that um, the SNES uh, Link to the Past comic book that came out in multiple parts for Nintendo Power. This is it all bound together. I love that thing. And then this is all my Nintendo Powers that have the Zelda walkthroughs for pretty much all the Zelda games. Uh, minus the first one, which doesn't actually have a Zelda cover, which is odd. But anyways, I have put up a video of all those, which I think was in my last video prior to this. So if you want to check that out, um, they're there. I was also able to pick up this art book by Ketsuya Tirada. Um, he does some original illustrations from A Link to the Past, um, The Hyrule Fantasy, the first one, and also A Link to, or Zelda 2, Link's Adventure. Um, as you can see, there's some scenes here of you know his uncle leaving Link to the Past. You got sages and stuff down here. This reminds me of Zelda 2 a lot. Um, you know, Zelda 1, Zelda 2. Uh, it's all really cool stuff. I'm going to put a link to this uh, artist's webpage as well because these illustrations are amazing.